How's it? Good? Kif. Remember the dispute we were having a couple of days ago about, well actually the dispute that I was having with myself a couple of days ago about we're planning on going to the west coast, which I have actually never done in South Africa. Obviously I've been to Cape Town, which is sort of, suppose you could call it the west coast, but now we're going sort of, well, just a lot more west, a lot more northwest. I don't know, but to settle it, we're gonna travel double the distance that we plan to, but we are going to the absolute westernmost point of South Africa, Alexander Bay. We're 40 kilometers away from Alexander Bay, which is the westernmost point of South Africa. You probably didn't need me to tell you that. But anyway, we are 40 k's away. We have just gone past Port Nolith, which was actually a surprisingly quaint and pretty little town. So by the time we get to Alexander Bay, and once we've seen what's there, because neither of us have seen photos or even been there before, we'll decide whether we are going to view the sunset from the westernmost point, being Alexander Bay, or if we will go back to Port Nolith. We're approaching the river mouth now, and it's all just a bit eerie really. It seems like the river bank and the surrounding areas are basically all part of a mine. Um, I think a diamond mine. So we crossed a boom. We haven't really been able to find a way to get to the westernmost point of South Africa so we are most likely going to cross the border into Namibia neither of us have been into Namibia and we'll do that on foot and then we're probably going to go for an 8 or 9k walk to get to the westernmost point of South Africa probably by crossing the border I suppose or being like on the Orange River haven't figured it out yet but that's probably what we're doing Tortoise rescue in operation. Oh no, I'm making him turn back. Don't chase him back. <laughs> okay, get out of here, tortoise. No, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way, wrong way. That way, yeah, keep going. Keep on going. Okay, I think he's good to go. He is about 20 meters away from the road and walking strong away from the road. I'm not so sure that that rule applies to us considering we're on foot. So we're going anyway. Hello. We're busy walking in no man's land between South Africa and Namibia, which I think in itself is a bit of a bucket list item. It feels pretty cool to be walking along this long single lane bridge and Mark my words, one day I will pass under this bridge on a kayak, having paddled from the source of the Orange River, right up in the highlands of Lesotho, right down here to the sea where it's called the Oranje Munt, and that'll be 2,200 and something kilometers of paddling, one day. So apparently because it is a mining area, basically all along the banks, we are not allowed to go there without a special permit, which they said they possibly could arrange for us, but we didn't want to make a big mission for no real reason. Uh, so that's fully me being just unprepared. So the guy at the border very fr in a very friendly way told us we could sit here on the grass for a little bit if we wanted, but then we should basically make our way back into South Africa, which is what we'll do. So. Yeah, a little bit of a fail, but not too bad. The grass is really green here, and we'll have a nice little picnic. And the walk back to South Africa has begun. 
Here we are in no man, no man land, no man's land, no man's land, no man's land again. Settled on Port Nolith for the sunset, which I think was a good call because Alexander Bay just, I don't know, had a bit of a weird vibe in my opinion. We're now taking a little stroll on the boardwalk here in Port Nolith. The sun's gone down. Yeah, really, really lovely day. The sun's gone down, but the fun has gone down. The sun's gone down, <laughs> but the fun has not gone down. 